Good morning, fellow mathematicians. Welcome back to another video. I <laughs> stepped on a chair and then jumped right in front of the camera. Ooh, so cool. Don't forget to check out my new website. I already posted a few things on there, mathematical and physical things. For example, deriving the time-dependent Schrödinger e equation, for example, or some integration techniques. Check it out. Also check out the subreddit and my Teespring show whatsoever. You see, I'm a bit obsessed with those um, kernels right here in the last time. And I guess you guys also were obsessed with kernels a little bit. So you see, when you go into the cinema and you grab yourself some popcorn, sometimes a, a bit of kernel is going to get stuck between your teeth and it can become a real obsession to get this thing out of your teeth. <laughs> you, you know the feeling, I know you know the feeling. <laughs> it's so damn annoying. Okay, so what you want to do today is derive another expression for the Dirichlet kernel today using what we already gathered right here. And there are actually two ways you can approach this right here, either treating this Dirichlet kernel as a complex number or just, well, using Euler's formula on here. We are going to do both. It's going to result in the same thing. Let's go ahead and get started. And this new form is going to allow us to actually de derive the Dirichlet kernel from the Fourier series and also use it on some limits and stuff like this. You can also use it for integration, for example. So it's really quite useful. If we treat this Dirichlet kernel as a complex number, why not take the real part, for example? So the real part of the Dirichlet kernel is the real part of this whole thing right here. It's also the real part of that thing right here. But you see, this in itself is a real number. So the real part of the Dirichlet kernel is just the Dirichlet kernel itself. So let's get at this. Real part of the Dirichlet kernel, where x minus x naught is nothing but this tau right here. And this tau is nothing but the Dirichlet kernel itself, OK? But it's also the real part of this whole thing right here. Real part of 1 over 2 times pi times the sum running from negative capital N to capital N of e to the i times tau times k. But like I said, we can make use of Euler's formula on here. OK, what is this? This is going to weigh a to the cosine of, well, tau times k plus i times the sine of tau times k. And this is already quite good. Like I said, there are two ways. You don't necessarily, necessarily, I'm sorry, need to take the real part on here. You can just write out this thing and you are going to notice that those negative ends and those positive ends are going to just cancel out all those sine waves right here because this is an odd function. It's just going to vanish overall. But also if we take the real part right here, all those imaginary parts are just going to vanish because well, we are going to take the real part of those complex numbers right here, which we sum together, which is going to just be the summation of those cosine waves. So this is nothing but 1 over 2 times pi. And what else do we get? OK, let's start off with the zero of part. This is cosine of tau times zero. Cosine of zero is just 1. So this is 1 plus. Then we get the cosine of negative capital N times tau. OK. Plus and I'm I'm going to start sandwiching everything plus the cosine of n times tau. Okay, plus dot dot dot, n minus 1, n minus 2, negative n minus 1, negative n minus 2, blah blah blah, and so on. Up until, okay, 1 and negative 1, so this is going to give us cosine of negative tau plus the cosine of tau. And we already came pretty far because the cosine in itself is an even function, meaning the cosine of negative x is nothing but the cosine of x. So all those negative signs are going to vanish effectively. And you see now we have 2 times those terms. So we can rewrite this as 1 over 2 times pi times 1 plus, okay, we have 2 2 times cosine of n times tau, then we have 2 times cosine of n minus 1 times tau, blah, 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 up until 1. So why not take 2 times the summation from k equals to 1 to capital N up here, so our highest index of, well, cosine of k times tau. And then we are done. This right here is another formulation of the Dirichlet kernel, and I'm going to make use of this bad boy right here to derive the Dirichlet kernel in the very next video. Because you see, just as a matter of fact, tau is nothing but x minus x naught, just like proposed. And yeah, maybe you already know where this is going. If you don't, 
It's not a problem. I'm going to talk about it soon. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, recommend channel if you like, if you want to support channel a bit more. Buy those t-shirts I created, support channel on Patreon, whatsoever. And up until the next video, my camera was shaking. Have fun today. See ya.